uh, hypoglycemia risk is an important point to be aware of in the newborn period. So we follow risk factor based screening. Uh, if the baby is symptomatic for any reason, obviously we have to think of low sugars. In an asymptomatic baby, large for gestational age or small for gestational age babies are taken as a risk because of uh, hyperinsulinism like presentation as well as low stores in the small for gestational age babies. In front of diabetic mother, if the mother is on beta blockers like labetalol for hypertension, in premature babies because uh, their metabolic rate is more, they have poor stores and uh, liver is not fully mature so they don't produce as much sugar from the liver. Uh, symptomatic babies as we discussed uh, can be poor feeding, lethargy, excessive tremulousness, respiratory distress, seizures. We should think of hypoglycemia. So the most important point is there is no routine blood glucose check for well babies with no risk factors. This is because all babies go through a physiologic phase of hypoglycemia when there is an adder of the blood sugar uh, around uh, one to six hours of age and then it starts picking up on its own. It's also important to remember that if you test well babies, the mothers may be discouraged and uh, breastfeeding may be difficult as well. In babies with risk factors, the reason we test is because we know they are at higher risk of brain injury if the sugar does drop and uh, they ca can't use the alternative fuels efficiently or they don't have enough fuel. That's why we are testing them. Ensure early breastfeeds and skin to skin care, which will also stimulate the breastfeeding. We perform the blood glucose one hour after the first feed in stable babies. Please discuss with the parents before giving formula milk if it is indicated. Some units may need informed consent if you are in the baby friendly hospital initiative. Babies who are symptomatic or have persistently low readings are likely to need an ICU admission 